these are quotes to make you think, okay? And it says here, borrow money from a pessimist. They don't expect it back anyways. <laughs> right? Okay. I'll tell something to myself. I, uh, some of you know, I was invited in. Uh, the man that led me to Christ worked with Christian, Christian Servicemen Center. And so it was to reach the military for Christ. And, and that's how I came to know Christ down in Key West, Florida. And I, I ended up living in the servicemen center with like seven other guys. And this one guy, he would loan money to you, but I mean, he would bug you. I mean, no sooner did he loan it to you, he, he won it back. And it was like five bucks. And so his name was Freddie. And so I would purposely borrow money and just keep putting it off to pay. He gets so annoyed, so annoyed. And we lit, he knew I'd always paid him back. But, oh man, that just reminded me of that. So, as Jesus started, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Here you go. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. And this is what Jesus said. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. So this is Mark chapter 10, starting verse 13. And um, do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. And then he took the children in his arms and blessed them. So you go, what does that mean? Well, context, the next guy is a rich guy where he says it's hard for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. And so this is really about children are vulnerable. Uh, you rarely meet a child that's prideful. I mean, when's the last time you met a child that was prideful? Uh, little children. And you say, why would they keep the little children away from Jesus? Remember, women in this culture, okay? If you don't understand the time this was written, it's like any other book. You've got to understand the time it was written. This, this was written during a time when women weren't that well thought of and neither, and neither were children. And so they, the disciples thought they were saving Jesus from trouble. And, and Jesus took that opportunity to turn it into a spiritual truth. And he did that uh, quite a bit. He's going to do it with the rich young, young ruler. And so this is why he says, truly anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. In other words, you, you, you have to become vulnerable. You have to become humble. You, you have to let go of things. You, you have to be like a child. A child, and child is very trusting, Right? Look, they're running to Jesus, want to get in his arms. Children are very trusting. Uh, they they uh, will tell you what's on their mind, whether you want to hear it or not. And so this is this is Jesus helping us understand that it's the it's this heart attitude, this posture that, that this is how you enter the kingdom of God. You don't take it by force. You don't you don't take it be, because you have wealth or because. You got good grades, or you're this this good person. No, you enter the kingdom of God by becoming not childish, but becoming like a, like a child. And you you watch children. There, you know, I love Anya. She's uh, a little over a year. Uh, as soon as she gets close to me, she'll put her arms up. She automatically wants to be picked up. And then she lays her head right here and grabs my arm back here with her little hand. And she just rests her head there. That's a picture that you want to have. That you come, you come to Jesus, fully trusting, believing in Him, and loving Him, having faith in Him, and and that's how you get into the kingdom of God. It's so different. Think usually you take a kingdom by force, or you you get in with money, or you get in, uh, you know, because you know somebody. And here it is, you become like a child. And you kind of do get it because you know somebody, you know the king of kings, the king of that kingdom, and that's Jesus. 
and he gets you in. All right. I hope today, if you're listening, you know that you've entered the kingdom of God. It's the most important question you can ever answer is, hey, am I a child of God? Am I in the kingdom of God? And because God wants you to know, he says in 1 John 5, 11 through 13, he says, these things I've written for you in order that you may know that you have eternal life, that you may know, not hope so, think so, all that, but know so. So please uh, check your heart, make sure you, your address has changed, that you're not just a citizen of America, but you're a citizen of the King kingdom of God, all right? Lord, thank you for these people listening. Bless them, watch over them, give them a great day, and help them, Lord, to know in their heart that they're part of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.